Most budget laptops aren't built for computer science students, especially if you are planning to explore AI and machine learning. They are fine for basic coding, but once you start training models or loading heavy data sets, they start lag and eventually crash. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will know exactly which laptop to buy that can run your computer science projects as well as also run your AI and ML models. And what's that one mistake most students make that causes slowdowns as well as lag? So let's start simple and surprisingly strong. You don't always need to spend big to get serious value. The Lenovo V15 might look basic, but under the hood, it's a coding ready machine that gets the fundamentals right. You're getting the Ryzen 5 7520U, a 4 core chip that's way more capable than its price suggests, and paired with the 16GB of fast LPDDR5 RAM. So, what you can actually do on this? Writing Python, Java, or C code is smooth. Browsing Stack Overflow while VS Code and Jupyter Notebook are open, no lag. Running an account environments or basic SQL queries for assignments feel effortless. It's fanless most of the time, it stays cool and don't get in your way, which is all you want when you're deep in an assignment at 1 am. Of course, it's not built for heavy lifting, no docker, no virtual machines, no AI models. But if you want the same brain but with a better body, that's where the next one signs. The Asus Vivo Go 14 runs on the same Ryzen 5 7520U chip and 16GB of LPDDR5 memory as the Lenovo, so performance nearly identical. But the experience, that's where this thing stands out. First off, the display is noticeable better, crisper colors, higher brightness and more accurate contrast. Whether you are reviewing design layouts, sitting through online lectures or reading endless documents, your eyes will thank you. And there is the build and portability. It's thinner, lighter and feels more polished making it perfect for students constantly on the move right between classes, labs and libraries. This one's for the builder, the one who wants their laptop to grow with them. The ThinkPad E14 is a noticeable step up, not just in performance but in the philosophy. It's built for real work. You get the Ryzen 5 7530U which is faster than the previous 7520U, especially when multitasking or running slightly heavier development tools. While it comes with the 8GB of DDR4 RAM, but in many cases, it's upgradable. That means you are not locked in. If your workflow evolves, docker, lightweight virtual machines or heavy IDs, this machine keeps up. And then there is the ThinkPad field, the keyboard, genuinely one of the best typing experience out there. The build, a solid hinge and minimalistic design, built like a tool, not a toy. But let's say you are someone who needs raw processing power, not just reliability. Maybe you are coding by day and gaming by night. That's where things get interesting. The HP Victus is the first laptop on this list with a high performance H series processor, the Ryzen 5 5600H. That means 6 cores, 12 threads and the kind of multi-core muscle you feel when compiling emulations or debugging. And so, it's safe with the 8GB RAM by default, but this time it's DDR4 and upgradable. Drop in an extra 8GB stick and you get yourself a beast for multitasking. Here's what it crushes. Android Studio, light machine learning workflows, game development in Unity or Godot. So yes, you can unwind with Valorant or GTA 5 after grinding through the DBS assignments. The bonus thing here is that the thermal design is solid dedicated cooling zones, the air exhaust, so performance doesn't throttle even during longer development sessions or test builds. But maybe you are eyeing something a little more future forward, like AI or on-device inference, because the next one, it's built for that. Now we are talking the next generation, and not just in name. The Intel Core Ultra 5 125 is the part of the Intel's brand new Meteor-like lineup, and what makes it special isn't the raw power, its efficiency and intelligence. You are still getting solid multi-core CPU performance along with the 16 GP of DDR5 RAM. Perfect for handling full stack deployment, VS code, terminals and browser heavy multitasking, plus Python libraries with skit learn, XGBoost and smaller machine learning tasks. But here's a twist, while you won't be running stable diffusion or Mistral locally, those still need a dedicated GPU. But maybe you don't want to sample performance, you want to unleash it. It's built like a tank and performs like one. Inside the Tough Gaming A15, you're getting a Ryzen 7 7435HS high performance 8 core CPU paired with the 16GB of DDR5 RAM and a dedicated RTX 2050 GPU. And that GPU, 
that's the real game changer here. Here's where it opens up new workflows. GPU accelerated compilation and rendering are using Blender with GPU rendering. Game engines like the Unity or Unreal Engine performs noticeably smoother. Even though the RTX 2050 isn't a top tier GPU, it unlocks a whole new world compared to the integrated graphics. You can experiment with PyTorch, CUDA acceleration, and GPU supported libraries, all of which are extremely slow or completely unsupported on iGPUs. And let's not forget the gaming side. It handles the eSport titles like the Valorant, CS2 or Apex Legends at 60 plus FPS, so you are not just limited to the coding marathons. With dual fan cooling, military grade durability, and full upgrade support, downside it's not the most portable. But if you care more about capability than carrying weight, this is easily one of the most future ready laptops under 60,000. If the tough was the tank, this is the stealth jet fast, sleek, and quietly capable. The Core i7-13620H inside this IdeaPad is a 10-core hybrid chip, 6 performance cores, and 4 FCNC cores, built for serious multitasking and intelligent work distribution. Whether you are switching between Visual Studio, GitHub, and Stack Overflow, running Android Studio alongside a Chrome Windows full of tabs, prototyping machine learning models with Skit-Learn or TensorFlow, or managing remote servers through WSL or terminal-based tools, it handles all of it with ease. And 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM, it's not upgradable, but fast enough to stay snappy even under pressure. Design-wise, it's clean and minimal. No gamer essence, no RGB, just solid performance, professional looking machine that fits just as well in classroom as it does in the workspace. Bonus. The display is actually one of the better ones in this category. Great for long hours of rendering, editing, or debugging without straining your eyes. So here's the thing. There's no one size fits all. When it comes to the laptops over computer science students, it really comes down to what you'd plan to do. If you're just starting out, learning Python, doing basic web development, or getting through coursework, those entry-level Ryzen 5 laptops are more than enough. But if you're planning to tinker with Linux, backend tools, or heavier development environments, the ThinkPad or Victus gives you a solid foundation with room to grow. And if you're already diving into serious workflows, game development, machine learning, Docker, or 3D work, the tough A15 with the RTX 2050 gives you real desktop headroom without breaking the bank. Meanwhile, the laptops like the Acer Go 14 or the Lenovo Idea Pad may not have a GPU, but they bring next generation features fast memory, solid multitasking for a cleaner, more modern experience. So, whatever path you are on, start with a laptop that lets you build, break, and learn. Because the best projects you will ever work on won't just happen in class. They will happen at 2 am at night when you are deep in a code and obsessed with solving something. Alright, so those are some solid budget laptops that can handle coding as well as AI and ML. If you are interested, I've dropped the best Amazon links down below in the description box where you can find some great deals and maybe even some student discount. And trust me, it's the best way to get the laptop that fits your need without that endless searching. If this video helped you, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or you have two laptops stuck in your mind, you can comment down below. I reply to each and every comment. So that's it. Stay awesome. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.